Yep, Crypto Man saying, he goes, yeah, I definitely would not want to have, uh, I would rather have a, um, a bull run that, instead of a bull run, that, but to have sustainable growth. And we were just talking about that before, uh, where we don't want to see these giant peaks and valleys. It's better to have a nice climb with some little tidbits in there that pop. But for the most part, you want to see uh, a sustained growth. That's far better. So Paul saying uh, it'd be interesting to see how Electronium's price will soar when the next bull run occurs. It's come a long way since the last one. All right, so you guys have to remember, everybody keeps talking about a bull run and a bull run. If you look at the chart from 20, 24, 14, uh, 14 to 17, it's three years. There's a three. What's, we got to bring this up. There's already, everybody's talking about a bull run, and there's not going to be a bull run at the end of this year. Uh, that's my opinion. You can tell me I'm all wet. I don't know what I'm talking about. But let's bring it up. Let's take a look at the charts. And what we want to do is put it in a log scale. All right? You guys look at this here. You have an amazing bull run that happens. Now, there'll be some mini runs that'll happen. Absolutely. But you're talking massive bull run. It was three years to this point. And this is going to have to to glide up. And it's going to bull run out here. You're looking at 2020, 2019, 2020. Before you see another massive bull run. I'm so Sorry, I just don't see it. Is it possible? Yes. There could be a cascading of series of events that cause a whole bunch of people to throw a whole bunch of money into Bitcoin and the price goes skyrocketing again. But under natural progression, and keep in mind, I mean, there were some bull runs here. You, know, you had a spike, boom, and you know, there's people made money. You go from here to here. There was tons of money being made. But that's not this. That's not this. All right? You don't want this because when this happens, when that happens, you're looking at two years for everything to cool off, for everybody to get back. You have all the people who are like cranky and, and pissy because they put all 20 grand into Bitcoin and it's worth six. I've lost most of my money. I put 10 grand in, I got $2,000 left. Darn cryptocurrency and they cash out. And they're all cranky and crummy and all upset. It, it, it takes years for that to cool off. You really don't want that. You want this with some spikes. These are good things to have happen. These are the things. If it just kept doing this all the way up, I'd be real happy. It would be better for everybody. You'd have some spikes in there. You can sell a little high. You get a nice general increase. These things aren't good. And that's the reason why it is such a long cool off period. And it's my opinion, you're not gonna see anything massive again like this for until 2020. My personal opinion. All right.